Okay, so let's take a look at the microscope uh, measurement activity. So microscope measurement, how big is an object in the microscope? Our learning goals are to be able to calibrate your microscope and use the microscope calibration to estimate the size of objects. We click start. It says drag objectives horizontally to view at different magnifications. When you look into a microscope, the field of view is the visible circular area. See how the object looks when the magnification of the objective changes from 4 times to 10 times to 40 times. Uh, knowing the size of the field of view, which is the diameter, you can measure the size of an object in a microscope. Because the size of objects of field of view is different at each magnification, we have to calculate the diameters of the fields of view at each magnification. This process is called calibrating your microscope. So I'm going to click to the next slide. They show us the instructions in the bottom corner here. Drag the ruler to the microscope stage. Here we see our field of view. This is the measurement tool across it. These are millimeters. So now they're saying under the 4x time, what is the field of view diameter? So I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 and a, about half of a millimeter. So I'm going to say 4.5 and I can say check. Gives us a check mark. We're good. Go to the next higher magnification by dragging the objectives. Those are my objectives. I'm going to swing it around till it clicks in place. Drag each specimen to the stage and measure at the optimal magnification based on your calibrations. So I'm going to take the juvenile and I'm going to put it in. So seeing a teeny tiny little speck, very hard to estimate the size of the object since there is such a small sample here. So I'm going to go to the next power up. Okay, quite a bit bigger. Let's check very high power and see. Okay, so here we have our sample and the field of view goes from here all the way over to the other side. Now at high power, we have this down here at 40x from one side of the field of view to the other is 0.5 millimeters. So now we have to estimate how big is the sample. Well, it looks like I can probably fit about two of them across the field of view if I was to slide that one over. So I'm going to say that my objective that I am using is the 40x and I'm going to say that my uh, size of the sample, because I can fit two of them across, and the field of view is 0.5, that would make each one of them about 0.25 millimeters. So let's check to see if I am correct. And I am. Okay, I now want to check the next sample, so I actually have to grab the slide. Yeah, I'm trying to move the slide out, and it says you can only place or move a slide when we are on 4x. So I put it on the 4x, now I can take my slide out, and I can go to the next one, which is the larva. And here's my larval stage. This is under low power. Uh, I'm going to try going up to the next power to see. So they actually tell us this is a sand dollar larva. Measure the full length of a larva from top to bottom. So I want to measure from here all the way down to here. 